Hello, hello. Welcome to Unboxing Hour. YouTube channel. For the full box. I have a box of things. I'm out the box. I'm very tired. I'm sorry, I'm looking at energy. <laughs> Today, we're going to finish out October with my essentially canon versus convention. Or like canon and convention, because they're like fighting each other. But for the first video, I unboxed a couple creators who made canon pony theme things. So you saw a lot of like the main six and as well as some of my OCs, which I was very excited to get. And this time we're going to cover some conven convention merch from conventions I've actually never attended before. <laughs> At least not in person. They might have had like a COVID, you know, online thing during that period, but I've actually never attended either of these conventions. But this first batch is from Tomo Creations, so not the convention itself, just a creator. I think I've unboxed them before. I'm not sure. I, I feel like I have. I've definitely bought from them before. So an artist I really like. And the merch is actually a character from TrotCon, which actually I actually have no idea where that is. <laughs> but it's far away, which is why I've never been. And the merch is one of their characters named Proxy Server, who I believe is just like an Alicorn type of character but very, like, computery, I guess. And so we'll unbox that first. And this, this convention, this merch is no joke from 2020. <laughs> this is one of the first Kickstarters I actually backed. And yeah, it's been a while. That is nothing on the artist. Tomo came through and their stuff came in on time. So it's, it, that's not the issue. It's just, it took me so long to unbox this. I know I've unboxed my old Tony stuff in the past. For whatever reason, I didn't unbox this with some of those other groupings. Uh, okay, I'll go over there. I'm gonna hit, okay. Well, that happened. Anyway. So I'm not sure why this one wasn't unboxed with some of the others. I might have just forgot about it, honestly. Because it kind of gets buried. Like, I have a whole, like, shelf of Kickstarter things that need to be unboxed. And it's, I've now labeled everything. So I know, you know, the categories and everything. But... Before, it was just a blob of Kickstarter, so this might have just gotten lost in there. But we're going to unbox it today. And the, this is not part of that. I put this out, this is part of another group, the second group we're going to unbox. I just put it out because it's going to get lost in there. So I think this is all of, oh, oh no, no, I forgot something. It may or not come out, okay, there we go. Is that, okay, that's just blah. I'll put that over there. Okay. Alright, so this campaign was mainly a couple pins and some acrylic keychains. Well, one acrylic keychain. I think there's some stickers in here too. I think you can see the pins, but I'll try and... They were attached to like the same cardboard, but the backs were actually in my office. I just went ahead and removed those because I'm going to lose them in this video and they're not important. They're just loose. But here's the first proxy server pin, so you know what she looks like. Very cute pin. And our second pin, I might just put these like face down, just so I don't mess up the, like the rod sticking out of the back. There's no, you know, backers, there's no backs for these right now while I'm in the, doing the video. And second pin, it's falling out of my paws. Very cute pin. Another very cute pop pin. Hopefully you can see that. She's so cute. And that is it for the pins. We do have a keychain, and I think I got two of the same keychains. I actually was using one of these because they look exactly the same until okay, until it kind of broke. The keychain itself is fine. It's just like the the links and everything. Those tend to break on keychains. Open, open this. I did. Awesome. Dang it. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Oh, is that locked in there? Hang on. I might have to rip this open. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that opening doesn't go all the way through, so... I will need... either scissors... Let me see if I can... I don't even, I don't even know this okay, there we go. I completely destroyed it. <laughs> I got the key thing out. Okay. There. 
Oh, that's done. You can leave that too tall, whatever. So here's the keychain. I believe it's double sided. It looks, I think it's a thing on both sides. So there's a proxy server. Okay. Love keychains. I love sticking on things. My only issue is they tend to disappear or they tend to break and fall off. Luckily, I saw that one when it broke. So it's still in my room. There's just no place to like put another like link on it. And after that, we do have a few stickers. And here's Tomo's card. I don't really hold up cards anymore. I used to do that with my older videos, but you'll get their information in the description, so I just kind of don't bother. This will also be fun. Let's see. We're gonna slide this out. Yeah. Wait, I think this should be four, four, four. Two, one, two, three. Okay, I'm missing one or this counter. There he is. There he is. He's stuck. Okay, so this is dirt. Not the car. <laughs> Everything else is just, you know, cardboard garbage. All right, I will try to hold these up. Luckily, these are pretty big stickers. So we have an interesting face, like proxy. <laughs> I'm sure that's a meme of something somewhere that I don't recognize. So there's that. We have... Oh, what do we have? Okay. Okay. A very content looking proxy server. Oopsies. Ah. Very content. Just happy. Um now. Okay, no. Let's see. She's lying down, I think. Yeah, she's lying down. She has another interesting face. <laughs> And if these are re reference to something, feel free to tell me in the comments. I don't know, <laughs> but there's another interesting face proxy server. And finally, a proxy listening to music. This is very cute character. I think Trotcon at this point has like six mascots or something. I don't know why my old pony conventions have like a lot of mascots, like an almost illegal amount of mascots. <laughs> They're all cute though. I think they just added like a changeling and that character was a little cute. But that is it for Tomo Creations and their proxy server bundle. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's go move that over here. I'm not going to pick up Alice because there's no point. This second group is actually, well, a group. <laughs> it's Everfree Northwest. That's who did this Kickstarter. It is not an individual. It is the con itself. And these were made for this year, so I kind of did a Back to the Future thing. So I have something way from the past and then something from very much the present. This was like their Everfree Northwest plushie bundle for this year. So I think that was like Everfree was like a month ago. So it was pretty recent. But these were just shipped to me this week. I'm really happy because I'm recording this like in late September. This is the time I have to record it because I'll be gone most of October. But we'll actually start with smaller things first because they were going to get lost in there anyway. Let's see. Um, did something fall on the foot? Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's in the back. Okay. So we'll start with the sticker pack, which is just one big sticker pack. So it has the three characters. And the brown one is, I believe, Mocha Sunrise. The one with the like newspaper thing on her head is front page, and the orphan looking one is Marina. Uh, you'll see them more in detail in a minute. I was also given a couple little ribbons for like a badge. I don't know what this one is, it's just stars. So I have five stars, <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure what that's for. And these all came with achievements. And we have a proud plushy parent ribbon. Which I love. I am very much a proud plushy parent. You cannot see my living room right now, which is behind the camera. There are plushies everywhere. <laughs> there aren't a lot of pony ones. I think like the giant um, Athena from Budgies, that's, that's over there. But there aren't a ton of them, but I do have a lot of plushies. And this is the fandom, the Brony fandom. They love their plushies. They really, really love their plushies. Speaking of, let's get into them. This is just a set of three. I think they have five characters total. 
they only had three flushes, though. The other two just, I guess they didn't get that high of a stress goal, or maybe they weren't planning on doing those two for this, uh, this run. But we'll start with front page, because she is the closest to the top. I'm not going to open, well, I think it's good. This is a pen. And hi. We're so I already just pulled them up the way they are, but you can't really see them at all. Well. There you go. Ah, yeah. Okay. So here is front page. These are really well made, too. I love these flushes, they look really good. So I guess front page is an earth tone, and I love this little, again, like, newspaper, like, old-fashioned, old-timey newspaper visor on her head. And her little glasses, they're really cute. Her TV mark on both sides is, like, a newspaper, which is, I mean, with her name, that should be obvious. And she's just really cute. I don't think she's saying... Nope, she's lucky. Oh, she's cute, and I love her. I believe the two that are missing are her kids. Like a mare and a stallion, or well, a filly and a colt. But they weren't made for this campaign, but she does have like two kids in their like universe lore. So there's the front page. Um, I'll just lay her here because she can't stand. Next we have, uh oh, there we go. Mocha Sunrise. She fairly loves getting up early. Like if you go to the Ever Queen Northwest. Web page, they do have like characters, a, a character section, and they'll tell you about all of these characters. Oh, why well, are you not able to put your hand? I'm mad at me. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. I'm going to have to put So we have a Mocha Sunrise. Love the hair, very bright, very well sunny. Says it with sunrise, <laughs> that makes sense. But also a female character, and I think they just like waking up early. I think there's other things they like doing too that I don't remember. And their TV mark is a like coffee bean with like sun rays coming out of it, as you can see. And they are Pegasus, so they are wings. I'm not sure I like the wings as much, just the way these look in particular. I kind of prefer wings that have essentially two different like parts. So the outer wing here, and then this inner wing is a second part. Like I did that with my character Gallus, or not my character, but with my plushie of Gallus. His inner wing and outer wing are two different pieces that I just sewed together. I actually prefer the way that looks better than the like embroidered inner wing on here, but. It's still a very cute plush, and they still do a really good job. Not really a major, like, complaint or something that's wrong. It's just kind of more, like, my preference. Let's put her over there. And then the last one. It really matter. Yeah, I will check that because I'm supposed to put that. And let's take this off. To get her right out, or she will forever live in this plastic hell. Oh, I told me. God. I'm just careful, but I'm very sweet. I like these. Okay. Marina! Here's the last one. She is an Orca Sea Pony, which is not really a thing in the show. Um, there are sea ponies in the show. They aren't really Orca based. They're either like ponies that were transformed by like magic, like in the My Little Pony movie, that's where we first encounter. That the hippogriffs have a special pearl that lets them transform from hippogriffs to sea ponies. Sea ponies? I guess they're still called sea ponies. And they could use that on other species like the ponies. But we didn't have anything that was like specifically orca or shark or anything like that based. So, really cool concept for a character. She's really cute. Kind of reminds me of Orsina from Battles and Ponies, which will be next month. But yeah. She's adorable. I love her hair. She has a cute little sea shell over here. Great details. Love the little tail. She's a cute. <laughs> I love her so much. So that is Marina. And 
That's all three. Let me see if I can put them up in a line. Kind of hard because Marina has three that doesn't stand <laughs> what the other three do. I threw duct tape too far away. Oh god. There we go. So here are my ladies. They're all really cute and really cheap too. Like I think the set was 90 bucks, so they're roughly 30 bucks a piece, plus like you know, $10 shipping or whatever. So I couldn't pick it up at the con. They did have Icon pick up though if you were going to ever see Mocha. So I think Mocha is exploding. Sorry, Mocha. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, they're all really, really cute. I don't think Lorna has a cute. No, she doesn't. Okay. So yeah, that is from Ever See Northwest because it wasn't necessarily created this time. I mean, they clearly had someone to design these and you know, send them off to the like manufacturer and everything. I'm not sure who did that. I probably should have looked that up. I'm sorry. But Ever See Northwest is the creator of this Kickstarter. So that's it. That is my convention portion of October. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm very happy to get three new plushies I can put God knows where because I don't have space. <laughs> then I wait to buy a new house with more space because I can like all the a lot of the pony stuff I've shown you is just sitting in my closet because I don't have space for it. <laughs> when I get a new place though, I'm hoping to put more pony stuff around, including these three because right now I don't know where I'm gonna put them. And with like the proxy stuff, it will probably go in my bag of things I can't open right now. But definitely want to display it at one point because. The pins are really cute. I love the acrylic keychain. I just didn't mess with this one because I needed one for the video. So the first one, you know, we had I had a duplicate, so that's why I started using it. I may use the stickers for some reason. I, again, I'm not a big sticker person, but they're really cute stickers. So I'm tired. Let's get out of here. I need food. If you guys know the drill, so what do I do? Hit the yeah. If you guys look, oh my god, that's gonna be a lot of editing. You guys know the drill. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I already had to say that five times. So, November is coming up, and there's going to be a change of plans. Originally, I was going to do the result of Cozy Osaka Fest, which I do plan to go to. At this point, I'm going with at least two friends, and I really expect to have a blast there. The issue is, con videos take a while to do. Obviously, the con has to happen. And then I have to have time to, you know, talk about it and put all the photos and everything in it. And I kind of want to give myself a bit more time for that. So I'm going to move Ponyville Cider Fest to December, and that will be that topic. So I'll do a video of what happened, and I'll do a video of what I bought. Because I'm willing to bet you there'll be a lot of stuff that I'm going to buy. So instead of November, I'm going to do something very different. Not widely different, but, and I wasn't planning on doing another video game this year, but I actually am going to do Battle Jump Ponies. That came out September 2nd. It's been in development for at least four years. <laughs> I think my the Kickstarter was like three years ago, and Tony Yost was working on it before that. But it is a very cute game. It is also kind of in the vein of this. It is not technically My Little Pony. It is different enough so he doesn't get sued, <laughs> but it is a monster taming game only the Pokemon or whatever other monster trainer you, you can think of are ponies. And they're adorable, and I love this game so much. And the different thing I'm going to be doing is, normally when I do two games, or when I, normally when I do a video game, I do two. I do you know, two videos a month. For November, I'm just going to do one game, <laughs> and here's why. So the first video in November will be me playing Battle Jump Ponies on my phone, actually, because that is the platform I have the game on. And the second video will actually be merch. So for most of my games that I've backed, for those that have physical merch that I bought, it's like one or two items. So like with The Wandering Village, I had a t-shirt and I showed you that at the end of that playthrough. For Battle Jump Ponies, there's a lot of merch. There's a lot, a lot of merch. Some of it's from the Kickstarter, and some of it is from the store that I bought later on when they opened the store up. I'm just going to unbox them all together. So, look forward to that in November. I just really am excited about this game. I love playing it, and I my tiny channel has like five people that watch it. But still, anything I can do to push this game out and get more awareness about it, I, I'm going to do it. I really want to help Tony Yost and his crew, because he did a fantastic job with this game. But, 
That is November. Until then, it is, again, late September, when I record this, I am going to go shower and eat something. So, until October, goodbye.